Hello all, welcome back to Nanotech. Today's topic is carbon dots in high impact photothermal therapy. Basically, carbon dots are carbon nanoparticles with a zero dimensional structure. They can be divided into two main categories. Graphene quantum dots, primarily composed of sp2 hybridized carbon atoms, forming a zero dimensional graphene lattice. Amorphous quantum dots, consisting of sp3 and sp2 quasi-spherical carbon nanoparticles with numerous surface functional groups. Over the past decade, carbon dots, received tremendous attention because of their diverse merits such as, simple fabrication, adaptable structure, you can change their physical and chemical properties to suit different needs. Biocompatibility, they work well with living things. Water solubility, they dissolve in water. Photostability, they don't break down when exposed to light. Tunable fluorescence. You can adjust how they glow. All of these features make carbon dots really versatile and useful in many different applications. Here I explaining the mechanism of carbon dots as a photothermal agent. Photothermal therapy. Photothermal therapy is a treatment strategy gaining prominence in the field of cancer therapy. This innovative approach employs light-absorbing agents, typically nanoparticles, to selectively target and destroy cancer cells while preserving healthy tissue. Photothermal therapy holds the potential to revolutionize cancer treatment by offering a minimally invasive, precise, and well-tolerated therapy. Carbon dots have also found as a photothermal agent, converting light into heat energy through photothermal conversion. Carbon dots possess many loosely bound electrons in their lowest energy state. Here in this picture, when they are exposed to the right kind of light, these electrons get excited and move to higher energy states or what's called the excited singlet state. Now, typically, carbon dots are known for releasing this energy as light, which is called fluorescence. They may return from the excited singlet state S1 to the ground state S0 through non-radiative relaxation, resulting in the release of energy in the form of heat. However, the interesting thing is that these electrons can also release their energy in a different way. Instead of emitting light, they can cause small vibrations at the molecular level due to their interactions with the surrounding atoms. These vibrations result in the generation of heat, and when you have lots of carbon dots together, this heat can become quite significant on a macroscopic scale. Thus, carbon dots can serve as an alternative to metallic-based, semiconductor, and polymer-based photothermal nanomaterials. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to discussing more interesting topics with you in the future. Stay tuned.